Hi, what's your name? I'm TJ Porterfield. TJ, good to know you. Nice to meet you, Chris. Why don't we start off and uh, give me a little, uh, maybe a brief synopsis of your background. Tell me about yourself. Okay. Well, I've spent the past 22 years with the Air Force, starting as a humble helicopter pilot, which actually taught me at an early age how to lead <laughs> small teams operating $40 million worth of aircraft. No, wait a minute. I didn't think there were any humble pilots. I didn't think those two There are a few out there, <laughs> absolutely. Okay. Uh, in some of the harshest environments around the world, uh, moving on then to managing major acquisition projects and modification programs valued at hundreds of millions of dollars, culminating with leadership opportunities at the highest levels, leading large organizations through very difficult circumstances in combat overseas, as well as disaster relief and life-saving operations right here at home. Hmm. What, if I ask you what your, your key traits or skills were that sort of set you apart from, from others, what would you say? Well, some may view the military as being very regimented and inflexible, but among my many talents is how flexible and adaptive I am, especially when the original plan isn't delivering the expected results. Mm -hmm. I'm uh, extremely skilled at being able to quickly assess the situation, determine a new course of action, and then delegate, direct, and lead the execution of that new strategy. My true strengths of leadership, innovation, and strategic vision are best demonstrated when there is no playbook and we find ourselves in uncharted territory. Finally, my creativity, innovation, and team development have completely turned around ineffective programs and made good programs great. I'm simply unsatisfied with the status quo. If it can be done better, faster, or cheaper, I'll find a way to make it happen. Very well said. Well, well give me an example. I mean, uh, look back on your career so far and give me an example where that philosophy's paid off. Well, it was truly exciting and extremely rewarding to be responsible for a company turnaround in Albuquerque. For uh, years prior to my arrival, this company, which is responsible for the formal training of 200 students annually, so similar to an assembly line type process, mm -hmm. Had been, delay, uh, had been plagued by delayed production and late deliveries to our customers. Right. So in my first year as the operations officer, we replaced a marginal subcontractor and expedited the award of a $40 million contract to a new contractor. I then collaborated closely with the new workforce and senior management to successfully transition them into our fast-paced operation. Simultaneously, I scrutinized our scheduling process, making sure that it matched available resources and set weekly priorities enabling us to get caught up and in just four months time we eliminated one month of backlog and reached on time production which was a first in that company's 13 year history customer satisfaction and employee morale both naturally went sky high as a result and uh, i'm proud to say continues to this day okay very good very good well at this point in your career what's next well, after so many moves with the military, we're excited at the prospect of putting some roots down right here in Las Vegas. Yeah. I'm really looking forward to applying my leadership, innovation, customer service, and creativity in a senior management capacity. I have an opportunity here to leverage uh, my unique blend of long-range strategic planning where I can create, inspire, and share a vision that spans several years and multi-million dollar budgets and programs with the agility to problem solve at the tactical level, assessing our day-to-day -day performance mm -hmm. and making the right course corrections where necessary, both aimed at guaranteeing we meet our business objectives. Okay. Well, I, I, it's been a pleasure chatting with you, TJ. The pleasure's been mine. Thank okay. you. Thanks a lot.